Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys, and welcome back to another episode on the absolutely stunning Lamborghini Huracan that we've got behind me. Today's video is all about the tuning process on an absolutely world first system that we've done. It's a full Audison Thesis amplification rack that we've got in the front. We've got three Audison Thesis amplifiers, but before we get onto that, guys, remember in the description below, we've got the massive 10K subscriber competition live on our channel already. So hit that subscribe button and you'll be kept up to date with all the future videos. Plus, the finished video on the whole system as an overview. But the custom amp rack, which we've done a whole separate video on, houses three Audison Thesis amplifiers. First one is an Audison Thesis Duo running the tweeters. Then we've got another Audison Thesis Duo running the six and a half inch drivers in the front doors. Then we've got Audison Thesis Uno, which runs the actual subs in the vehicle as well. This customer was after a little bit of a stealth look, but didn't want to compromise on sound at all. That's why we've achieved what we have done with the custom amp rack in the front. This is an incredible amount of what's called class a b amplification which we've done a full separate video on so we won't be touching too much on them but insane level of quality of amplification this system isn't about being loud yes it is high power yes it is high current however these systems are all designed at lower volume, high clarity. That perception of sound is just inch perfect in the car. And it honestly, it really, really is. We've just finished the tuning process, but we're gonna be talking you through exactly what's involved on something like this. In terms of speaking configuration, we've got an Audison Thesis tweeter on custom A-pillars just behind here. Then we've got an Audison Thesis Sax, which is a six and a half inch driver from the Audison Thesis range, which actually sits in the actual stock location on this Hurricane. Then what we've got is two subs in the vehicle hidden behind the seats. And what we've actually done with those is they're Hertz Melee Legend 8 inch subs in custom enclosure and then cover that with a really stunning beauty panel that sits in the car so, so nicely with a bit of unique elements to it, like the custom 3D printed Lamborghini logo that we've got embossed into the panel, plus some really cool shapes and designs to make this car look incredible. However, from looking from the outside of the car, you can't really tell this car has a system that it does. But today's video is all about tuning. So after the initial setup is done, so the install is done, what we do is do a base setup, which is basically setting all of the frequencies, making sure everything is safe in terms of what these products need to be playing. Once that is done, then we finish off by basically putting all our panels back into the car as though it's gonna be a finished car. Then the real part of the tuning system really starts, which makes the product that we're gonna be talking about very important. We're using a product called what's called BitTune. We've got the products here with us and we're gonna be talking about through what these sorts of products do and help us achieve. So once that initial setup's done by setting frequencies and response curves that we want the actual speakers to actually play, we set the product up. So this has got a microphone set up. So there are five microphones on the actual BitTune system. And what this allows to do, this actually sits on the driver's seat and then you've got another microphone which sits in the central uh, position in the vehicle. What these microphones are actually listening for, are listening to actually control sound. What happens, uh, and I don't want to go too much into it, and we can go through all of this during an audio consultation if you want us to, however, something called phase cancellation. When a speaker is basically sitting in a vehicle, when you're looking at home hi-fi, for instance, you can position the speakers exactly where you want to, plus you've got a lot more air in the room. Obviously, the room is normally a lot bigger than a car or especially bigger than a Hurricane Evo. So sound can bounce and reflect around normally a square object or a rectangular object, which isn't too bad, and it does create for a better sound in a in in overall. However, inside a car, you've got a lot less cabin space, you've got a lot less air, plus you've got glass, you've got a dashboard, you've got loads more things to consider when sound is actually traveling out of a speaker. So at home hi-fi, you might have your speaker configuration set up in front of you. In the car, you're not always able to have it directly in front of you. However, that's why we always try and move the Audison Thesis tweeter on axis so it gets to the middle of the vehicle or to the exact sound setup that we want in the vehicle. This system is all designed around the driver. So what we've actually managed to do and with products like this and also with balancing the way we've done the actual install is to do with phase cancellation. So if you had two speakers firing directly at each other or say you've got tweeters, even the Audison Thesis range directed directly to you. The person that's sitting in the passenger seat, you have an element of what's called phase cancellation where in a sense the wave and the wave band that you're actually 
outputting from a speaker or frequency range is actually elements of distortion can enter it. So what we do when we're doing this, we limit that and that's using software to actually allow us to be able to control waves and curves from the actual sound waves to basically eliminate the fact of phase cancellation or reduce it as much as possible to get the best possible sound in a vehicle. Obviously it is such a tight cabin, it is a tough place to work with in terms of sound. However, we get it right every single time guys. So make sure you come by, book an audio, audio consultation and we actually have cars come from all over the world to us as well as all over the UK, just like this one, to have systems like this carried out. And this is a world's first guys. So the tuning part, we've got the microphone system, we've also got the bit tune actual kit that normally sits on the seat when we're doing a system. This has loads of different tools, which we won't talk about too much. However, you've got loads of different controls. You've got RTA analyzers all built within this, and that's to do with these microphones as well. You can control everything and listen and get that sound inch perfect. Yes, we do a manual time alignment, then we do an electronic time alignment, and it gets us to basically 95% of our way there. However, that little bit of that 5% that's left over to get it to exactly where we want the system to be does take a little bit of manual tuning. So obviously on the system, we use basically software and computer uh, gadgets basically to control and edit all of the actual outputs and frequencies. So on here, you've got different, um, you've got a parametric EQ as well as a graphic EQ. So on this, this is actually what's called the Audison Virtuoso. So this is the best processor you can actually buy on the market currently. This is what I use in my car currently. It is a phenomenal bit of kit. You've got IR filters, FIR filters, loads of stuff cram packed into the actual application here. If you wanna see more about that, check it out on the Audison EU website. There's loads of details on the actual product. Plus you can download the manual and do a load of research yourself as well. But on here, we actually set the car up. This isn't set up at the moment, but you set up the system. So we're running a two-way fully active front end, which means each channel of the amplifier is running directly to individual components. So we've got the Autosynthesis Duo as the first amp running the tweeters, obviously fully active. Then we've got the order, another Audison Thesis Duo running the Thesis Sax, which is again fully active. Then the Uno, which is running the two subs. So that's a configuration. Part of the configuration wizard is to set all of that up. On this occasion, we're using what's called master input. So what master input basically means is we're taking high level signals into a processor, which actually on this car, we de-equalize the factory radio. We clean up all that dirty signal because if you just input dirty signals straight into an amplifier, what happens is you amplify dirty noise and obviously the system won't be impressive. What we want to achieve is that that's why we're using products like the Virtual so, so it comes into an intelligent brain where we can correct all of the factory stuff that's messing all up the sound in the vehicle, correct it all, give clean, nice signal over to the amplification setup, then the Audison Thesis amplification rack really, really comes into its own. It then amplifies at what's called class AB amplification. You've got loads of different levels of amplification, A, B, C, and D. A, B is obviously the top, and it is honestly phenomenal. Anyone that's after an audiophile sound and wants the best, this is it. So the three amplifiers are outputting what's called class AB amplification giving out such pure signal for then the Audison Thesis range and the Hertz Melee Legend range to actually perform so, so nicely in the car. The system's not about being loud outside the car, it's about being controlled, and that's all to do with the soundproofing as well, but there's a whole separate video which is already live on our channel, so make sure you go check that out as well. But overall, the software allows us to control so many things, correct stuff outputting from the factory radio. So this has got the Lamborghini Apple CarPlay system, which is a lovely, lovely system to use, and really interactive, however, it is distorting signal as soon as you are playing over three quarters. It is doing a phenomenal bit of work behind the scenes, which you'll never see other than using correction tools like this. And that in essence is what tuning is. We're correcting factory output stuff, output basically like food that it's outputting, correcting it, fixing it, building a far better environment for the new sound system to work in. That then feeds directly into the amplification rack. Then that goes out to the new tweeters, the new six and a half inch driver, the new subs, and it honestly makes a world of difference. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. You've learned a little bit more, but there's plenty more content coming. So hopefully you enjoy and remember to hit that subscribe button below and stay tuned for much more. Thank you.